Hi everyone, welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Uh, today we're going to show you how to scrape uh, text out of a photo, out of an image, out of a JPEG or a, uh, a ping file, a PNG file, uh, and move it into a, a spreadsheet, move it into an Excel spreadsheet, um, which is a very valuable uh, skill to have. It's a little different than what we've done in the past with data scraping, where we've scraped it off of web pages or scraped it out of a PDF. Uh, but it uses the same concept as it does when it's scraping a, a PDF using OCR, Optical Character Recognition Software, OCR software, uh, that's actually built into Microsoft Excel. Um, but before we get started, I just wanted to mention journalisttoolbox.org. Uh, this is a website I've run the last 27 years. Um, you can uh, find it at journalisttoolbox.org. Uh, always has a training video or a group of training videos out here on the homepage. Uh, we now have uh, more than 85 training videos uh, up there. Uh, and uh, you can just click there. It'll take you to uh, the uh, uh, YouTube channel, uh, which you're watching right now. Uh, and also, the, there's always a link up here in the upper right-hand corner to it. Um, uh, right here uh, at the top of the page, I've got uh, data journalism tools. This is always somewhere on the home page on one of these uh, grids. Uh, and uh, you can click on data journalism. Uh, and I've got a lot of tools in there, you know, for creating graphics, you know, using spreadsheets, um, um, you know, mapping, things like that. Uh, but I've got a couple of channels here on uh, uh, data scraping and cleaning and, and scraping social media that will you know, be of particular interest to you since you're watching this video. So just so you know where to go and, and find different things. Uh, uh, it's organized by beats to all kinds of different topics, you know, covering the homeless, uh, you know, uh, covering retail and inflation, you know, math for journals, mental health resources, all kinds of uh, helpful, interesting uh, uh, tools and resources. So let's get into the exercise. Um, if you look in the description of this training video, uh, you will see a link to this Google Doc in it. Uh, it's uh, uh, the photo data scraping exercise. Uh, and we've got a link to a folder here, uh, a project folder. Uh, and in it contains two things. Um, uh, one, this document uh, that uh, I've got up here. The other one is a little image here, data from a photo to .png. Um, you'll need to download this photo. You don't need to download the exercise, but you do need to download this photo. You can just go up here and get file and, and hit download. And it'll go to your downloads folder. And the photo uh, is just a, a simple uh, ping file, uh, PNG file, raw photo file. Uh, it's of this little uh, uh, grid of data. Um, you know, you can take pictures of documents and, and use, use it as well, but this is just a little picture I took of this, uh, um, of this data. Uh, and it's stuck, you know, in this, uh, layered into this uh, PNG file. So it's, uh, you know, not doing us much good there. I want to get that data uh, into uh, a uh, tool like Excel where I can sort and filter the data and analyze it and do something with it. Um, there are tools out on the market that will do that. Um, this is one called uh, Google uh, Pinpoint. Uh, it's in part of Google Journalist Studio, journaliststudio.google.com. You can load the image in. It actually converts it then to a PDF uh, and allows you to scrape it. Um, you know, I mean, it's all right. Uh, there are other file conversion tools here. Um, uh, Tiny Wow. Uh, uh, this is for PDFs here, pdf2excel.com. Uh, but with this, uh, it's a little easier if you just do it directly into Microsoft Excel. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and open Microsoft Excel. Uh, and when anytime you open the default uh, on Excel, uh, you're going to get you know the the basic tab up here, the Home tab right here. Uh, it's in the upper left hand corner. It has Insert, Draw, and several other settings. Click on Data. Okay, and data changes the toolbar here. and allows you to do different things, you know, remove duplicates and, you know, swap, to, uh, you know, text to columns, you know, uh, import data. Uh, you know, you can uh, bring in HTML, you know, a text file or something like that. It also uh, has in the newer versions of Microsoft Excel data from picture. Um, and that's what we're going to work with here. Uh, so you click on data from picture picture from file, and I've got these steps on our handout as well. Uh, and then we just go out uh, and we look on our desktop and we find our photo, data from uh, photo to 
Um, it's a PNG file. And I'll hit open. It'll start to analyze it over here using that optical character recognition software. It takes a second, so be patient with it. Uh, and then it'll pop up and it'll give you a little error message here. It's got, you know, it's, it's got some questions. You can go through and you can hit the review button and review the, the data or any issues that it thinks it may have with the data uh, before uh, you uh, load it in. Um, I usually just do that once it's in the spreadsheet. It's a little easier that way. Uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and hit insert data and you'll see why in a minute here. Uh, it'll ask me, oh, there's things that need review here, you know, and, and uh, I'll hit insert anyway. Uh, and my data pops in. And really what it was looking at here uh, was this, you know, kind of row where it has the staggered headers here, you know, where I can just type in county and delete out this row. And I'll just kind of clean this for you so you can kind of see. And yeah, we did have a couple outliers here that uh, you know, skipped over uh, a column. Very easy, just you know, copy and, and, or cut and paste it and, and move it over. Uh, one thing you always want to do when you get a data set like this is insert. Uh, go to the insert menu at the very top uh, and insert one row. Um, just uh, this is called a data mode. This is very popular with the IRE crowd. I also bold face it too. I bold face my header and footer just to give it uh, a little clean look there. That way, when you're sorting, you know, if you're going to do sorting, sorting, filtering, totaling, uh, you're you're not figuring this into the totals. You know, I could do uh, uh, you know total all these columns just to check the math on it. Um, you know, this separates it uh, from the totals here. So you know, if I sort it, I, it doesn't get mixed in with uh, uh, some of these county uh, county by county data here. Uh, the data mode's very important if you're working with a budget or something like that, where you've got totals at the bottom, it's particularly a big one. You know, this is a pretty small uh, data set here. But that's how you extract um, you know a, a table of data uh, from an image. Uh, you know, many of us have to use scanning tools. You know, for PDFs, that's great. Because uh, you can always scrape out of those, uh, but sometimes we're just in a hurry and we have to shoot a picture of the document, uh, and this is how we extract that data from it. Um, and you can do it right into Excel. So I uh, hope you find this helpful. Uh, and remember, uh, journalisttoolbox.org uh, has all kinds of tools, tips, and tricks for you. Uh, and our exercise, uh, which has step-by-step -step, uh, instructions that I just went through here, uh, uh, this will also be linked out of your description uh, of this video. All right, take it easy. We'll see you on the next video.